So what's going on? I'm gonna link an article in the description so you know this trail for people who don't know who want to go around saying fake news and you know all this. Always, I always link a source to where I get it from in the description, unless it's a strong rumor or or, or a rumor source that I really don't uh, know about. That's the only time I don't. But it's the Boston Clinic of Morris, your boy C.J. Goodfella, and uh, it's being reported that the WEC Mauricio Suleiman Jr. Uh, may um, be proactive in uh, disciplining Deontay Wilder for saying that he wants to catch a body in the ring. And what a body in the ring means, he wants to kill a man in the ring. And we remember that Sugar Ray Robinson killed the man with what was dubbed the perfect left hook and was distraught and all that other stuff we talked about the other day. But, you know, what what kills me about this situation is they want to be proactive and, you know, discipline Deontay Wilder for what he said verbally, you know. And it's something that other fighters haven't said. He was brought to my attention. Uh, via 7A Sports, and shout out to 7A Sports and the whole LDBC movement. They had an interview uh, on his channel, which I link in the description, with Earl Spence. Nice, lengthy interview, black fight fan caught up with Earl Spence. You know, you can see him visually speaking, and um, I'm going to link that as well in the description. Uh, but Mike Tyson said that he wanted to catch a body, and he said he was, you know, he was disappointed that he wasn't able to kill a man in the ring. It's a persona thing. It's a macho man thing. Um... I definitely don't condone it, but all of a sudden they want to discipline Deontay Wilder for an interview, but they don't want to discipline Canelo Alvarez for fucking cheating. They don't want to discipline Luis Neri for fucking cheating. They want to believe that fucking age-old Mexican contamination bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I just, I just, you know, that's that's what's fucking me up. You know, um, you want to defend a cheater in Canelo Alvarez, which everybody fucking knows he cheated. Somebody in the comment section, well, black fighters have muscles all the time. Everybody want to talk about Canelo's muscle. But Canelo wasn't always with that muscle. Them inflated muscles that he had with Triple G, I just thought it was, you know, he passed the Vita test. I thought everything was Gucci, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, this time around, you know, you know, um, excuse me, after the, uh, the the first fight and going into the second fight, this dude was flat as a cardboard box, you know? He was flat as hell. No muscles, no nothing, fixing a bowl of cereal or protein shake um, in his kitchen, wherever the hell he was at. He was flat with no muscles. You know, you just don't have a rapid muscle gain like that and then flatten out all like that. It don't work like that unless you go through uh, a major surgery or you sick or or whatever. Or you juicing, you know, and he was juicing, man. You know, it ain't that ain't no secret in the WBC defending a known cheater in the ring. But they want to uh, discipline Deontay Wilder for what he said on the interview. You know, that's all I'm saying. Like, look at the look at the contradiction in the bullshit. A guy talking about what he going to do. Or what he wants to do, you know, ain't did shit but be clean, and and they want to put and they want to take a half a million dollars from Bavet Bavetkin, and then say, oh, they want Bavetkin to fight Wilder next, and then they want Wilder to fight Ortiz next, and he he got to keep fighting, you know, juiced up motherfuckers, and it just looked like the WBC got an agenda to to keep pushing, you know, juicers and cheaters, you know, they defend every cheater that come across the board, you know, they believe any old white white lie that they comes across the board. But a minute Deontay Wilder says something that they don't agree with, which I said was a little bit heinous. Um, now they want to discipline the homie. But they don't want to discipline Canelo Alvarez. And nine times out of ten, nine point nine times out of ten, if the Nevada State Athletic Commission suspend Canelo for any length of time, WBC will still sanction his fight with Triple G. The WBA still will sanction his fight with Triple G. The IBF will still sanction his fight with Triple G. You see the bullshit I'm talking about? This is the double standards that people talk about in boxing. You know, when people say, Oh, you know the black guys, you know, you know, you're always bringing up race. And when a motherfucker's nine times out of ten come out, 9.9 times out of ten, oh, you got to bring up race. Them be the racist motherfuckers. Them be the motherfuckers who can't think outside the box and they don't know what it feels like to be a black fighter. And back to the dude in the comments that say black fighters have muscle. That's how black people are built, you know, most of the time. They build muscular. You know, that's just, you know, they genetics most of the time. You know, heavy on top, Some most of the time smaller legs. White people are heavier on the bottom. And straight on the top most of the time. And, you know, you have your exceptions. You have, you know, you know everything is mixed up now. You know, everybody has a little bit of every, everything in them, believe it or not. So, genetics vary, but that's what you usually get in basketball. I mean, in boxing. And at the end of the day, like I said, they want to discipline <laughs> Wilder for an interview, but don't want to discipline Canelo for, for, for visibly cheating. The facts are there. The proof's in the pudding. You know, and Rick Ross would like to eat that pudding still. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to eat that pudding still, but at the end of the day, I just show you how they how they rock, man. And um, I was listening to an interview to end on this, where Snoop Dogg said a rap game need a commission, 
and the clear stuff and, and, and get the shit back right. Boxing needs a commission now. You know, they need an go- a international governed body. You know, they need somebody to come in and wipe out all these bullshit belts. And they need to get a real sanctioned belt body, two of them, to come in and just be be the trio real shit, man. Real shit. There's two belts that, that's supervised and, and that's working with, with, a, with a commission. And, and move on from there because this Vada shit, you know, it's, 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 it's phony. They ain't really disciplining people off of that, but we gone.